गजानन भूतगणादिसेत कपिथजंबूफलसारभक्षित उमासुत शोक विनाशकारण नमा विघ्नेशर पादपंकज सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभं क्या सिद्धिर्भव मे सदा सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुरा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकरोकशंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवतन पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम टुडे वॉज गुरुपौर्णिमा वी हैड ए पूजा इन अ नियर बाय टेम्पल सिंस it is guru purnima i thought it would be apt to speak on the guru as well as guru parampara regarding the importance of the guru we find several statements in the shastra when i say guru i mean the teacher of brahma jnana one who imparts the knowledge of brahma vidya that is what i mean by the word guru in the world nowadays the word guru is used in many sense even a person who teaches management is called guru management guru investment guru somebody who teaches how to invest in stocks etc is also called a guru nowadays so the word guru is very loosely used
but in the context of vedanta the word guru holds holds a great importance we do not call everyone a guru the word guru is derived from the root gr granati upadeshati iti guru one who teaches the atma tattva is called guru there is a another significance of the word guru another dis, another explanation of the word guru which is found in the tradition गुकार स्वंधकारो वै रुकार स्तन्यवर्त कहा अंधकार निवर्तित्वात गुरुरित्य भिधी यते According to this explanation the word गु sorry the syllable गु in the word guru the syllable gu means andhakara darkness and ru rukaraha tannivartakaha ru means er one who removes the remover the destroyer is signified by the syllable ru therefore the word guru has the meaning the remover of darkness अंधकार निवर्तक द रिमूवर ऑफ डार्कनेस इट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड गुरु इन द वेदांतिक पार्लेंस डार्कनेस इज नथिंग बट द सेल्फ इग्नोरेंस आत्म अज्ञान द सेल्फ इग्नोरेंस इज ऑफन रेफर्ड टू एस डार्कनेस इन द वेदांतिक लिटरेचर जस्ट लाइक द कॉन्शियसनेस इज रेफर टू एस ज्योति ही और प्रकाश हा इन द सेम मैनर द इग्नोरेंस इज रेफर टू एस डार्कनेस अंध हा तमस इत्यादि देरफोर the guru is the one who helps in the removal of the ignorance now many people have this question 
is it not possible to get the get atma jnana without the help of a guru in favor of this idea the idea that you do not need a guru to get atma jnana they quote some examples ramana maharshi did not have a guru or buddha did not have a guru what did buddha do buddha sat under a tree and then he got enlightenment therefore i will also sit under a tree and i will get enlightenment this argument is very popular in some circles you do not need a guru now whether you need a guru or not how to decide first of all shastra is the pramana because from shastra we come to know the sadhana the sadhana to get brahma jnana the sadhana to get moksha for that shastra is the pramana therefore we have to look into the shastra shruti as well as smriti our primary shastra are called shruti shruti is a synonym of veda shruti is tri veda amnaya ha the veda is called by other names also shruti hi amnaya ha these are two synonyms of veda now the shruti clearly says that you need a guru if you have to get atma jnana at least there are two important statements one is found in mundakopanishad mundakopanishad says tad vijnanartham sa gurume ma abhigachet samitpanihi shotriyam brahmanishtham the full mantra is pariksha lokan karma chitan brahmano nirveda maya nastya kritah kritena tad vijnanartham sa gurume ma abhigachet samitpani shotriyam brahmanishtham a wise man should first examine 
the loka the world and on close examination he understands that this world is not going to give him any permanent happiness this has to be understood properly because the human beings have a natural orientation that somewhere in the, in a corner of this world they are going to get permanent happiness in some corner it is hiding this misconception has to be removed by proper analysis of this world and also one should properly understand that even the other lokas even the higher lokas like swarga etc even they are not going to give permanent happiness because mundaka upanishad itself gives the rationale why even swarga cannot give permanent happiness because they are karma chita even swarga etc is a result of karma certain actions if you do certain type of punya you will end up in swarga by using this reasoning one should understand that even swarga is not going to give permanent happiness when it is thoroughly understood properly understood without any doubt only then one gets vairagya nirvedamayat one should get nirveda nirveda means vairagya one should get vairagya and to get vairagya and to strengthen the vairagya one should work it requires some working how we should work we are discussing in sarva vedanta siddhanta sara sangraha how to get vairagya what kind of vichara what kind of enquiry enhances the vairagya we are studying in great detail so nirvedamayat so it is not easy to get vairagya once my guru dayananda swami ji made a statement it is not so easy to get vairagya you should marry three times to get vairag he said jokingly i don't know whether anybody here has married three times
what he meant was it is not so easy to get vairagya people think they get vairagya they have got vairagya but uh, after some time once again they are attracted to something or the other therefore cultivating intense vairagya prabala vairagya requires great effort that is why krishna says janma mrityu jara vyadhi dukha dosha anudarshanam one should constantly see the limitation the shortcomings of various uh, various aspects of life that is how one should enhance the vairagya so after getting vairagya what should one do then mundakopanishad says tad vijnanartham sa guru meva bhigachet samit panishotriyam brahmanishtham tad vijnanartham in order to know the brahman in order to know the atma सह गुरु एव अभिगच्छे हि शुड गो टू ए गुरु ओनली ओनली ए गुरु कैन इंपार्ट ब्रह्म ज्ञान देर इज नो अदर ऑप्शन शास्त्र डस नॉट से यूट्यूब अभिगच्छे so gurum eva abhigacche one should go to a guru only gurum eva there is eva kara eva means only there is no other choice the word eva rules out all other possibilities all other choice now a gentleman says i am very intelligent i have a high iq my iq is much above normal iq this gentleman says therefore i don't need a guru i can figure out anything on my own then shankara acharya says while explaining some mantra shastra gnopi swatantrena brahma jnananveshanam na kuryat even if somebody is very intelligent and not only he is intelligent he knows many shastras also he is good at vyakarana he is good at sanskrit good at uh, logics he may know many shastras highly qualified highly educated person even if he is so भाष्यकार से शंकराचार्य से स्वातंत्रेण ब्रह्म ज्ञानान्वेषण न कुयात हि शुड नॉट मेक् एफर्ट टू नो ब्रह्म इंडिपेडेंटली विदउट द हेल्प ऑफ ए गुरु बिकॉज 
if somebody tries to figure out the truth with the his own reasoning or with the speculation whatever he will end up in wrong conclusion and sometimes if we end up in wrong conclusion it is very difficult to correct it that is why there was a student this person wanted to learn music so he approached a very good the classical music teacher he came to the music teacher and said i want to learn music so how long will it take for me to learn music then the teacher said at least you will have to learn for 3 years i am just randomly saying this is just a story don't uh, don't think uh, music can be learned in 3 years i don't know so but this music the teacher said you will require 3 years and your fees will be x amount let us say 1000 per month will be your fees and uh, you will need 3 years of lessons then the student said but i have already learnt a little the teacher asked how did you learn i learnt from youtube then the teacher said oh in that case you will need 6 years to learn and your fees will be 2000 per month then the student was surprised he asked how is it so because you will have to unlearn unlearn a lot before learning you will have to unlearn all the wrong steps all the wrong ragas wrong swaras everything has to be corrected so unlearning will will be more difficult than learning sometimes that is why sometimes people end up in wrong conclusion on account of overestimating themselves over confidence all these are discussed in the shastra especially by the acharyas like shankara acharya etc because uh, in the tradition they know very well where people can go wrong that is why shankara acharya clearly states shastrajnopi swatantreena brahma jnana anveshanam na kuryat even if you are a shastrajna do not make an effort to understand brahman independently approach a guru gurum eva abhigachet upanishad uses the word abhigachet means one should go to a guru now there is a misconception you don't have to go to a guru the guru will come to you and knock at your door when you are ready this is another argument but the shastra says 
abhigachet one should go to a guru approach a guru and this process of approaching a guru is called guru pasadanam guru upasadanam upasadanam means approach guru pasadanam is a very important step in the pursuit of brahma vidya somewhere in a prakarana grantha some acharya describes how eagerly one should approach a guru the eagerness of a seeker while approaching a guru is described deepta shira jalarashimiva deepta shira suppose somebody's head is burning what will he look for he will look for some water where i can find water and jump into water and extinguish the fire he cannot wait my head is burning today i will go to water after some time he cannot wait he has to go immediately as soon as possible that is the eagerness of a true mumukshu with the great eagerness the mumukshu approaches the guru abhigachet and now the same statement of the upanishad describes the quality of a guru what is the qualification of a guru anybody who declares himself to be a guru is not necessarily qualified to be a guru the qualification of a guru is also described shotriyam brahmanishtham first of all he should be a shotriya the word shotriya has the meaning of chandah adhite there is a paninian sutra shotriyan chhando adhite one who knows the vedas one who knows the shastra one who has studied the shastra properly under proper guidance such a person is called shotriya he should have studied the shastra from a guru himself that means he should have been a shishya earlier 
first of all one should become a shishya only then he becomes a guru i never became a shishya but i want to become a guru it is not possible therefore he should be shrotriya he should know what really the shastras are revealing what is the true purport of the shastra and how to convey this purport of shastra how to convey the vision on the shastra what is the methodology of teaching the teaching involves certain methodology there is a prakriya methodology of teaching all these things he should know such person is called shrotriya in addition to being a shrotriya the upanishad says he should be a brahmanishtha brahmani nishtha yasya sah brahmanishtha one who abides in brahman is called brahmanishtha generally a person is dehanishtha he abides in body mind senses etc he identifies himself as an individual a jeeva that is how he conducts his life his behaviors are in accordance with the identification as a jeeva such person is not brahmanishtha he might have studied the shastra but it does not reflect in his personality it does not reflect in his thought patterns it does not reflect in his behavior his lifestyle then he is not a brahmanish a brahmanishtha is a person who has understood that he is not anything other than brahman i am not anything other than brahman i am not the body i am not an individual i am not a karta and bhokta he has understood this very well and he abides in this vision and this vision reflects in his thought pattern in his behavior in his personality such a person is called brahmanishtha a guru has to be shrotriya as well as brahmanishtha in addition to these two certain acharyas they talk about two other qualities avrjinaha 
एंड अकाम हता अवृजी नहा मीन्स ही फॉलोस ऑल द मॉरल वैल्यूज ही इज फ्री फ्रॉम वृजिना वृजिना मीन्स पाप his behavior is free from papa free from adharma meaning he follows all the values like truthfulness non violence compassion and so on and fourth one is akamahataha he is not overpowered by desire when a guru is overpowered by desire his teaching also will be compromised he may modify his teaching in accordance with the audience here i would like to make a point a true guru is not a person who becomes popular we should be able to make a distinction between a popular speaker and a guru why we should be able to make a distinction because what does a popular speaker do perhaps a popular speaker speaks in such a way that it is palatable to many if i say what you like i will become popular if it is palatable to many people then i will become popular but most often the truth is not palatable to everyone if i keep telling what you should do like vairagya vairagya is not palatable to everyone therefore one who speaks a truth one who speaks in accordance with the shastra may not generally become very popular he may not attract crowds therefore a real seeker should not think that a popular speaker is a better guru there may be exceptions but uh, we should uh, we should be able to make the distinction therefore akamahata an ideal guru should not be overpowered by any desire even the desire for 
attracting uh, attracting more crowd for name and fame etc he should be akamahata these are the descriptions of an ideal guru in the shastra therefore the upanishad clearly says one should approach such a guru in order to get atma jnana and now the same upanishadic mantra says how one should approach there is upasadana vidhi upasadana vidhi means how one should approach there is the word samit panihi carrying a samit samit means a log of wood in hand and some commentator say samit panihi implies गुरोह अनुरूपम उपायनम वन शुड कैरी ए गिफ्ट एन ऑफरिंग व्हिच इज सूटेबल फॉर द गुरु बिकॉज़ इन द ट्रेडिशन it is said rikta panirna seveta rajanam daivatam gurum one should not go to three people empty handed who are the three raja king one should not go to a king empty handed daivatam while visiting any devata any temple any deity one should not go empty handed in the same manner even while approaching a guru one should not go empty handed therefore गुरोह अनुरूपम उपायनम गृहीत्वा वन शुड कैरी ए गिफ्ट कैरी एन ऑफरिंग व्हिच इज सूटेबल फॉर द सूटेबल टू द गुरु एंड देन आफ्टर अप्रोचिंग द गुरु वन शुड डू साष्टांग नमस्कार विच इज टोल्ड इन भगवदगीता अध्याय फोर तद्विधि प्रणिपाते नू प्रणिपात साष्टांग नमस्कार साष्टांग नमस्कार इज ए जस्टर विच इंडिकेट्स टोटल सरेंडर total reverence total dedication and then request for the teaching adhihi bhagavo brahmeti even to request for teaching the brahma vidya there is a mantra which is given in the upanishads अधीहि भगवो ब्रह्मेति द शिष्य आस द गुरु हे भगवह 
ओ भगवन द शिष्य एड्रेस द गुरु एस भगवान बिकॉज द शिष्य लुक्स अपॉन द गुरु एस भगवान हिमसेल्फ in fact it is another point in the tradition one should look upon the guru as ishwara himself gurau ishwara buddhi karya in guru one should have the attitude of ishwara that is why the most popular shloka about guru guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru is brahma vishnu shiva what does it mean we look upon the guru as ishwara himself because if we have to get atma jnana we should have as much bhakti in the guru as much in ishwara that is why we equate guru with the ishwara so bhagavaha the shishya addresses the guru as bhagavaha o bhagavan brahma adhihi please teach me brahman this is how the shishya request the guru and then he is supposed to do seva to the guru tadvidhi pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya even regarding seva a lot has been told in the shastra there was a rishi called pippalada in prashnopanishad and six students approach pippalada for you know they they came with the certain questions they say we have some questions to ask regarding the, the ultimate truth then pippalada said i am not going to tell you now you stay for one year in my ashrama and do all seva as brahmacharis after one year of seva you can ask question then if i know i will tell you then the six students they stayed for one year as brahmacharis doing all seva and then after one year they started asking question each student asked one question that forms the prashna upanishad one student asks one question that forms one sec- one section like that there are six sections in prashna upanishad each section is answer to the question of one student so tadvidhi pranipatena pariprashnena sevaya and if the shishya is really qualified and he has approached the guru properly then the shastra says that a guru should definitely teach such a shishya acharya syapyan niyamaha यन्यायप्राप्तसिष्य निस्तारणमहोदे द उपनिषद सेस नॉट द उपनिषद दिस इज भाष्यवाक्य 
a statement from Shankaracharya's commentary on Mundaka Upanishad. Even Acharya, even Guru has this Niyama, this rule. Nyaya Prapta Satchishya Nistaranam Avidya Mahodadhe. He should help a proper Shishya who has approached properly. He should definitely help him to cross over the ocean of samsara. Therefore, the role of a guru is indispensable in the pursuit of Brahma Vidya. Let us pray to the Guru Parampara. Guru Parampara means the unbroken lineage of Gurus. Every, every Guru had another Guru. Only one Guru did not have another Guru. That is Ishwara himself. Let us pray to Guru Parampara on this auspicious day for Jnana, Vairagya, Bhakti and Moksha. Om Pur Namadapur Namidam Pur Nat Pur Namudachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vashushyate Om Shanti 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 Hi Hari Hi Om Shri Guru Pyonamaha Hari Hi Om